This is officially the our pets heads are falling off moment for the San Francisco 49ers. It's been a rough offseason already with Jim Harbaugh and everything, but now Patrick Willis and the tweets we're reading from Rand Getlin of Yahoo Sports, not a good sign. Having a source that says the 49ers are bracing themselves for the loss of linebacker Patrick Willis, expecting him to retire. We're not going to focus on the reason why, but more the impact. How big is this that he's leaving? Because a lot of people say, you know what? We had young Chris Borland that might be able to pick up the slack. What do you think? Well, Chris Borland was a nice little piece last year, but to compare him to Patrick Willis at this point is absolutely crazy. Patrick Willis, the best defensive player on the San Francisco 49ers, uh, really his entire career. The best middle linebacker in football the last five or six years, and truly one of the best defensive players the NFL has to offer the last five or six years. So uh, this would be a huge blow because Patrick Willis is a guy that can do everything on the field. Yes, Borland will be a nice, uh, he's going to hold his own, don't get me wrong, but he's just not as talented as a Patrick Willis. As Patrick Willis is so great on all three downs. He's a first and second down run stopper, and then he's extreme, extremely athletic, so he's got great value on third down, covering tight ends and backs as well. Uh, you can't replace a guy like that. You were saying in the Mangini defense that's coming in, Willis was the perfect fit, Borland not so much. Well, yes, I mean, we know Mangini, you look at Mangini, Bill Belichick, that coaching tree, they believe in bigger types type linebackers. Borland, not the biggest guy in the world, uh, and only got to, you know, he got to start a number of games last year because Willis got hurt, and he got hurt himself, so that would be a concern uh, moving forward, but the other thing that's that's big here, that goes under the radar a little bit, Willis, such a smart guy, Mangini's defense complicated, they do a lot of different things, a guy like Willis was, could, was really the quarterback of that defense, the leader of that defense, would have got everybody on the same page yeah. uh, learning a new system. San Francisco, I'm not going to pile on, but we need to address this right now. Jim Harbaugh gone. A lot of confrontation about Tom Sula taking over. Fangio's gone. The Kaepernick rumor trade. Frank Gore is gone and he's one of their best running backs in the history of the franchise. Yep. Is this thing falling apart right now? No, I'm not saying it's falling apart, but there's certainly some concerning things. Uh, there's still a lot of really good young football players, especially on offense and defensive line. Uh, so that is there. Okay. But yes, there are concerns as far as yes, Patrick Willis not being there. Can we get some wide receivers to surround around Colin Kaepernick. I'm sure. sick of hearing about Colin Kaepernick's bad play. Give him some talent so he can succeed. Yes, the running back situation, losing Frank Gore, concerning. But no, I think the 49ers still have a lot of the key pieces to be a successful football team. I am one that believes in Tom Sula as well. So mm. I'm not saying they're going to be in the Super Bowl this year, but they're going to be in the playoff race. All right, we will see what happens with Patrick Willis and his future with the 49ers. If it is the end, what a career it was. A major impact player in San Francisco for a number of years.